What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I go about you know pre-season or pre-rut and stuff like that. So we've been out here today working on the food plot a little bit, got some new trail cameras up, stuff like that. But what I'm going to be showing you all right now is how I go about making my mock scrapes. Now I'm not sponsored by this company or if these are two different companies. No, they're the same company. But I'm not sponsored by them but you know this is the, just the primary stuff that I go through and use throughout the year for mock scrapes, freshening up other scrapes that bucks have made. So, what I like to use here, guys, is this I will carry with me everywhere. This is Don Estrus. I'll just carry it in my backpack, and, you know, if the wind's wrong or something, I'll spritz this up in the air a little bit. And hopefully this kind of takes away some of the main scent of human humanism whatever so basically just spray that up in the air and oh wow the wind's blowing that one I'm still getting a whiff of that it's pretty pretty strong so that's one of the uh, ingredients I use to mock scrape second is same brand um, but it's the buck and rut. Um, basically the same idea, just has a strong scent. And what I like to do is I'll spray this on a licking branch or I also have these little, I've never even, key wick. I never even knew what these ones were called. I just hung them on branches and stuff like that. So basically this, you just hang on a branch, spray the licking branch, and you get... You just spray some of this scent on or you'll dip it in like like those little one ounce bottles of deer pee or something not one ounce five ounce or something and it should last you probably a week if it doesn't rain so I use, these are just my main go-to uh, ingredients for these things I also just carry just a regular bottle of dough or buck urine and I'll just pour that in the scrape just to freshen it up a little bit. But right here we got just a perfect little oak sapling. I don't know what type of oak this is. It looks like a white oak. I have no idea. I'm no tree expert. But so what we're going to go do first is we're going to just go ahead and make the initial scrape on the ground here. So didn't bring any tools with me. Unfortunately, so what I do is I just kind of take my boots and just kick out a bare spot in the ground underneath where you're going to have your licking branch or something. And another thing you want to do when you're making a mock scrape, put it in a uh, key location from where your stands are set up. So for me here, I want to be having a tree stand. Just up here to my right, up in one of these two big oak trees. And then also I will be clearing some shooting lanes, but my shooting house is directly over past those pine trees. So, you want to clear out probably a decent little space, probably, I don't know, two feet by two feet or something. And should be pretty good. And the next thing you want to do is Take your little wicks, whatever they are, and I always like to use two of them on the small ones, just uh, not really any specific reason, but you prefer to get up here, grab the main licking branch, whatever it may be, I'll just break off all these leaves here. I don't want to break the main branch itself just for the idea of that whole thing is going to be where bucks are leaving their I don't even know what gland that is on top of their head or in their nose it's where they're leaving that scent and then also what I'll come back and do is I'll just bring my little hand saw or something and clear out these bottom branches and being that's where bucks might like to rub on the tree or also what I'm doing is 
you can use like rope or grapevine say or something like that and hang that from this branch i still leave those little tabs up there that also makes a licking branch and a rub uh stick or something so what i'll do is i'll just take this buck bomb and just you know lay it on there let it drip real good spray it on some of the spray it on these other little branches on the leaves Make sure that scent gets good and out there. And spray a little bit on here on the ground as well, just kind of. And y'all may be thinking like, so right now it's the 1st of October today. And, you know, you're kind of going through that second second phase of deer season. Um, and I don't know necessarily a whole lot about phases of any sort. But, you know, it's getting close to the pre-rut. And, I mean, some people will call this the October lull. I personally don't necessarily think that's really legit. In my opinion, the reason you're not getting as much camera activity in October is because deer aren't necessarily needing to, needing to come into your food sources. It means that there's still acorns falling. There's a whole lot of wolf. Uh, you'll be probably getting just as many pictures on just a regular old deer trail that deer use a lot as you will out in food plots. And baiting sites. So, and then with the dopey, I'll really just spray it on there heavy. I don't really want to get the downwind of it myself, because then you just have it all over yourself. But I'll lay that on there good and heavy. Spray it up there on that tab as well. Just kind of get it. The dopey, I just put it everywhere. And, I mean, you can see, I mean, that the wind is carrying it out into my food pot a little bit. So, Anyway, so what we'll do next is so we'll just bend or break these two branches back behind it. And what this does is just kind of creates a bit of a area, you know, where bucks are only come. That's what they'll be rubbing on. And, you know, hopefully I can get some mature bucks to come in here this year. Had a really good one last year, and uh, hopefully this year he comes back, and I can maybe capitalize on him on a scrape, because that was really the only way I hunted him last year was on scrapes. He would come into a scrape that was up here that another younger buck had made, and I just put a camera on it. Hunted it really hard, and missed an opportunity one morning. Didn't get a shot at him, but I was hunting across the road, and came over here. And he had been here 15 minutes prior to me coming. So, you know, close encounters, you can kind of call that a, you can call that, definitely call that a close encounter, but. And so hopefully, hopefully this year is the year that I can really hone in with these scrapes. And, you know, another thing you can do with mock scrapes as well is just to add a little bit more of, I don't know what exactly so bucks when they're making what you want to find with a licking branch is a that is let me get this here figured out real quick i don't want to drag this video out too long but when you're finding a licking branch find a tree that has leaves that last most of the fall and that reason being is because that is where deer leave their scent the most is on the leaves so basically you can find like a cedar tree those things never lose any i mean they don't lose their needles you find a pine tree they don't lose their needles you'll find a lot of scrapes on trees like that also you want to find oak trees as well which is primary these little oak scrubs like this one here um you know that's a really good tree to do scrapes on because they generally even when their leaves are dead it holds on to them quite a bit longer than most other trees so anyway thank you guys for watching hopefully this was a little bit of advice for y'all and yeah so hopefully uh you guys don't mind my just ranting away and all that good stuff so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe 
hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And, uh, shoot, what was I going to say? You know what? I don't even know. But, anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.